Rylet, let's do this. Now that you're equipped with Razor Leaf, your most powerful move at the moment, winning this uh, battle will be easy. Also, you're definitely going to evolve, hopefully, before we fight the totem Pokemon. Easiest Oko of my life. Rowlet OP, plus nerf. Clearly best starter. Alright, two more Pokemon to go. Easy enough. Get the Super Potion, that'll be handy, considering I've only got Rowlet to work with. On to the next Din. What the heck? Thing just jumped out at me. Bring it on, you goose. I'm taking you out. Show it who's number one, Rylet. I mean, if they're all level 11, I'm pretty sure I'll just Oko each and every one of them with Razor Leaf. It's pretty easy. My Rylet has become too powerful. I need to catch more Pokemon. Which the game won't even let me do right now. One more Pokemon to go. There is a man over there. Also, this way, if I jump down, should... Ah, don't even have to jump down. Nice. Brick Break. That is, like, a really good TM. I'm, like, 80,000% sure that Rowlet cannot learn it, but I'm going to attempt to give it to him anyway. Yep. Oh, look, it even shows you who's able and unable right there. Cool. Did it do that in X and Y? I can't remember if it did in X and Y or not. Ah, there's the last one. But there's another den above him, huh? Let's just crawl on through here real fast. Thank you for the super potion, much appreciated. Alright, young goose, let's do this. There's a small den here, will you look inside it? Best believe I will. There's nothing inside, excuse me? Oh, you scum. I'm gonna catch- what if I look in here again? Still nothing, okay, so I gotta get up there then. Gotta make our way up top. Now watch, now it's gonna move back down there, I bet. Yep, there's nothing inside. Now it's all the way over there, what the heck? How does this thing move around so fast? I don't understand, that guy's probably just there to tell me, hey, you can't go this way yet. I'm a trial guide here to help young boys and girls attempting the island challenge. Looks like there's one more Pokemon for you and your team to prove yourself against. Alright, yeah, thought so. Are you in here? Oh my goodness. Now he's back at that one. So what do I need to do here? Do I need to just move, like, one thing ahead? So what I'm thinking... Oh, no, wait. Cutscene. Oh, great. Yo, yo, yo. It's your buried thief boys. Back. Back again. Remember us? Uh, who are you again? Oh, I see. Just because we switched places, you can't tell who we are anymore. <laughs> who cares about that anyway? You guys are literally identical. We're here to mess his trial up, yo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie. I'm just smiling. I legitimately thought he was going to run up and, like, sucker punch me. Just make Pokemon take a serious turn all of a sudden. Alright, this is round three with random Skullgrunt. I imagine it's going to go about the same way it's gone the last two times I fought a Skullgrunt. Which is with me just absolutely annihilating them. Although I'm pretty sure I'm not going to Oko this drowsy, unfortunately. Even with Razor Leaf. I think it'll live on like 20%. Yep, I called it. That's roughly 20%, maybe more like 15 I can't really tell. Get him. Astonish him in the face. The way Rallet does that attack, just, I love it. It amuses me so much. I'm going to be upset when Rallet evolves, because I think it's about to happen. Nice and level 16, though. I'm liking that. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? <laughs> Who uses brittle to describe themselves? Also, still no evolution, so it's past level 16. What's up with that? For real, though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. Nah, I didn't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Why do you have to move your arms to talk? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out in battle. 
All right, well, I'd say that went pretty well. Can that count as my third defeated Pokemon? What the? Yo, kid, you know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Nah, we're not going out like that. We got to get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that skulking young goose, yo. For real? Fine. I got no bones to pick with you. Oh, well, they're just going to, like, block the young goose in for me. What a bunch of dummies. Bum, bum, bum. Or as this game would tell you, numbskulls. Come here, young goose. It sounds really upset. That is not a young goose. That is a gum shoes. All right, Rylet, you got your work cut out for you this time. It's still only level 11, though, so to be honest, I'm pretty... I think you're still going to OKO it. If not, then you're definitely 2 a KOing it. It actually took that way better than I thought. But whatever. We should be good now. Finish it off. Raise a leaf! Easy. Wish I could have gotten that crit earlier, but whatever. I would have lived a crit from full anyways. That's some good experience, though. I like that. Rowlet may still evolve at the end of this trial. I've defeated all the Pokemans. Hey, stupid, what are you doing? Yo, I'm over this. I'm out. <laughs> what an idiot. Hey, I'm done. Fantastic. You proved your strength to all three Pokemon. Then go right ahead inside. Don't mind if I do. Bum, bum, bum. To the heart of the cave. Indeed. The Totem's Den. Yo, give me the Z-Crystal. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But from where? Will you take the Z-Crystal from the pedestal? Best believe I will. It's mine now. I called dibs. Uh-oh, there it is. Yo, there's a TM up there. Gumshoes, the totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern, has appeared. Taking it down. Let's do this. You are challenged by Totem Gumshoes. Totem Gumshoes aura flared to life. It's defense, Rose. Ah, it couldn't it have been its special defense? Like, come on, game. Cut me some slack here. It's only level 12, though, so I've literally got four levels on it. I'm pretty confident. So is its defense up by just one stage, or what? How does that work? I still like a four-hit KO. That's good enough. I'm a little upset that it used Scary Face, though, because I was actually pretty pleased that I was faster. Now I'm definitely not. Ah, oh, here we go. Ally Pokemon are here already. I should just be able to hit them both with Razor Leaf, right? Doesn't Razor Leaf hit all opposing Pokemon? I think it does. Yeah, it does. Cool. You guys are going down. As soon as, yeah, okay. The game had to load for a second there. That's going to hurt. Actually, didn't do too much. I'm surprised they did about the same amount. Uh, but now my damage... Oh, actually, no. I think my damage is still even. I think I, I still did, like, the same amount of damage to Gumshoes. I was going to say my, like, if I'm attacking two Pokemon, then the attack should be, like, the base power should be split in half. But it still did about the same amount. Oh, no, not Tackle. Yo, give me the experience of this Young Goose, though. Don't mind if I do. And Gumshoes should die to the next one. If not the next one, then the one after that. And hopefully it'll give me a level up off of it, and then maybe I can evolve. Oh, no, it's biting me again. It's been doing eight damage. It's pretty easy to tank it. Easiest totem kill of my life. Granted, it's currently the o only totem kill of my life, but, you know, that makes it the easiest. Also, I'm level 17. Dude, d d just Rowlet is so adorable. I love it. Now evolve. Ah, oh, it's time. Level 17, boys. What? Rylet is evolving. Here we go. I'm gonna miss this adorable little munchkin of bowtie beautifulness. But we all gotta grow up someday. Today is the day for Rowlet. There we go. Dartrix, that's your name. I couldn't remember it. All right. Add that data to the Pokedex. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's really cool. I like that setup for the Pokedex. 
Nice and registered. Oh, I'm at 1% Alolo Pokedex, 1% Melee Melee Pokedex. Man, I'm good. Oh, that's so cool. You can, like, have it go through its cry and its action. You can move it around. Oh, that's so cool, man. I like that. Pokedex is a lot better this gen. Gumshoes disappeared back into the cave somewhere. You wanna give me my Z crystal? What an incredible trainer you are. Yo, how's it going? What is that on your left hand? For you to be able to defeat the totem Pokemon that I had trained up to such a powerful state. I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Illuma. You're a phenomenal trainer. Best believe I am. Congratulations, Chaos. The Z crystal from the pedestal is yours now. Awesome. What is this, the normal Z crystal? That's what it looks like. Trial complete. Man, I'm good. You obtained a normal normalium Z? Okay. Uh all right, I put it away in my Z crystal pocket. What you've just received is the normal Z crystal. It is known as normalium Z. Now if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that. Oh my goodness. And strike an elegant pose like this one. I'm having Ginyu Force flashbacks. Then you will be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. So wait, does the Z crystal like, does it eat up the Z crystal when I use it, or does it just like once per batter, batter? Once per once per battle, if I can say the words, and then I can use it again next battle. Ah yes, first there's one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon, like Gumshoes just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the Tome Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some Great Balls. Man, they just hand you everything in this game. Ten Great Balls? That is overkill. And here, let me see to your Pokemon after all of their hard work in there. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Yo, can I get that TM first, though? Oh, yeah, here we go. I want that TM. Ah, uh, do I need to... Yep. Gotta have a strong Pokemon to break through, so we gotta come back here one day to get that TM. Whenever we have Rock Smash or something similar. Which confirms to me that HMs are still in this game. Can I help you? What is it? Oh, no, a young goose. As if I haven't just defeated, like, eight of them. All right, this is Dartrix's first appearance on the field. Look at him with his fancy hairdo. Still rocking the bow tie, loving it. Annihilate this thing. Absolutely destructificated. Poor young goose. All right, so level 17 to evolve to your second stage. What is that? Kind of like, there we go. I found an orange berry on the ground, okay. Oh, that's right. Those Pokemon can drop items. I remember being told that. Another young goose. Oh, no. A Zubat. Thank goodness for this variety of Pokemon. See you later, sucker. Do, 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 I definitely do not want... Uh... Young Goose or a uh, Zubat on my team. I'm so picky with Pokemon, man. Greetings, Captain Ilma here. What is with you in hearing your own name? As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's Barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. Are you kidding me? What happened to the guy? He vanished. Oh, no, never mind. He's just standing right there. My bad. I thought he vanished. He was actually just slightly to the left. Voila, your world just got a little bit bigger. I am the only captain here on Melamele Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. 
Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island Kahuna. Hala. All right, let's go find that Kahuna. After we talk to Professor Kiwi. Yo, what's happening? Hey there, Chaos. Oh, looking at the expression on Ilma's face, I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z-Power. Here we go. Start off by selecting a compatible Z-Crystal from the Z-Crystal's pocket in your bag. Yeah. Uh, then use the Z-Crystal you chose on a Pokemon. Z-Crystals are compatible with the Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the Crystal. Have your Pokemon hold Z-Crystals and you'll be able to use Z-Power in battles. And don't worry, you can use your Z-Crystals over and over on as many Pokemon as you want. Alright, good to know. That's really the only question I had is if I could use them multiple times or not, or if they were like power herbs. Watch and learn, cousin. I don't need an example, man. Come on. That's just a waste of everyone's time. A Growlithe! Dude, sick! Growlithe is a great mon. Alright, here we go. Z-Power. So I probably should have read whatever he just put there. I wasn't paying attention to it. I was looking at the Z-Power thing. You get different options for it? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you probably get an option for every type of move you have compared. Because I think Rockruff had uh, Tackle and Leer, so I gave it two different options. Breakneck Blitz. Alliteration is important, boys. I like how its frame is just completely still. That was super overkill. That poor Growlithe got run through. That was like a drive-by. Unfortunate. For the Growlithe. Phew. Z-Powers heap all of a trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon. Yeah. Which totally wears you out. It would have been better if you said Art is an explosion after launching it. Using Z-Power once per battle is all a team can handle. Yeah. Oh, so is that why you've been looking so ragged, Professor? No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you could spare some time to help me look for her, Chaos? Uh, apparently that's my job now, watching after Lily. I can go and have a look around the cave for you, in case you wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her. Yeah. Alright, we're off to find Lily then. I guess I may as well put the, uh... Normalanium, whatchamacallit, onto, uh... Dartrix. I don't see why I wouldn't. There we go. Alright, that's pretty cool. So now we have a Z-Power available. To Route 3 we go. We're one route away from the route that has uh, Mudbray on it. I happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by wild bird Pokemon. What adorable little pests they are. I don't want to deal with birds. Route 3, watch out for flying Pokemon, yeah. I don't need any bird Pokemon. Hello there. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these well leads to victory. Yeah, abilities are pretty important ever since 3rd gen. When they were introduced. This guy looks way too arrogant. I'm gonna take him down. You're going down, Ian. Knocking you off this high horse you put yourself on. Psyduck? That's such a normal Pokemon. Why does everyone have such not Alolan Pokemon? There needs to be more Alolan Pokemon that I'm running into. Raise a leaf. Easy kill. I defeated Rising Starion. I couldn't show off the effects of abilities? What even was... What's Psyduck's possible abilities? Cloud 9 and something else. I don't know what its other one is. I just know it gets Cloud 9. I don't even know if Psyduck gets Cloud 9. I just know that Golduck does. Because I remember it was like people would use Golduck in... Uh, in Ubers when, or no, 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 in VGC for Mega Rayquaza. Still Sparrow. Still nothing new and interesting. I gotta say, that's probably my biggest complaint about uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon right now, is I'm not seeing enough new things. Enough new Pokemon, specifically. I am seeing new things. Totem Pokemon, Z-Rings, etc. I need more new Pokemon, though, man. That's, like, the biggest thing you look for in a new region. For me, at least. Oh, hey, Cutifly. Well, I asked for new Pokemon. Here it is. Except I've known about this Pokemon's existence for, like, five months. 
I want to see Pokemon I've never seen before, man. I wonder if Cutifly evolves. I don't know. It seems like one of the ones that could not evolve to me. I could be wrong, though. Had to make sure there wasn't a Pokeball over to the left there. We can move on now. Delibird? Seriously? Delibird is not a common Pokemon to run into. 